so it's the best way to deal with BO? Take a shower or a bath every day and be sure to use soap or body wash. Another way to help minimize BO and feel less stinky is to use a deodorant or a deodorant with antiperspirant to help keep body odor in check. But what about my face? Am I gonna get pimples? Well, that depends. You see, besides sweat, there's something else your body will start producing during puberty. It's called sebum. It's an oily substance that can cause acne, also called pimples. Acne is really common during puberty and can't always be prevented, even by washing all the time. The best way to help keep your skin clear is to wash your face twice a day with a dental cleanser. And remember to use a moisturizer. And one more thing, sebum can make your hair look and feel greasy too. So be sure to shampoo regularly to keep your hair clean and healthy. And to keep it from being frizzy, try using a light conditioner and a wide tooth comb when your hair is wet. Washing it every day or every other day is best for most hair types. But do I really have to brush my teeth twice a day? Yes, actually you do. Brushing helps keep your teeth healthy and clean. And more importantly, it can keep you from having dragon breath. So remember, the best way to avoid dragon breath is to brush your teeth properly every morning and every night with a good toothpaste. My sister has a pretty big chest. Are my boobs gonna get as big as hers? Well, Mandy, a lot of that depends on your family. If the women in your family have large breasts, then chances are yours may be big too. The same thing is true if the women in your family have smaller breasts. But remember, breasts come in all shapes and sizes. That's why they make bras in all shapes and sizes too, so you get the right support. They even come in different colors. Finally, every girl's chest develops differently. So even if some of the girls you know already seem big to you, no worries. Your breasts will fill out when the time is right. How will I know when I'm gonna get my first period? Here's the deal, Suzette. The only way to know for sure when you're going to get your first period is by pulling the date you're going to start out of a magic hat. Just kidding. The real answer is that no one knows. Your body is unique and definitely on its own schedule. Generally speaking, however, you can expect to start your period about two years after your breasts start to develop and you start growing pubic hair. Another important sign that your period is on its way is called vaginal discharge, which may sound worse than it is. Actually, it's just a clear or whitish fluid that comes from your vagina, and it's completely normal.